Hey, what's up everyone? Koban Ron E456 here today, presenting to all a new episode of Mod Madness. As for this video, we are going to be trying out the real Knuckles mod from Ultimate Darkman, and also Grand Metropolis Zone from Black and Angel. So if you would like to try them out for yourself, the links are in the description below to their channels. And as always, if y'all are excited about seeing more mods on the channel, show me and hit that like button. And let's see if we can hit the like goal of 3,000 likes for this video, and let me know in the comments down below for question of the day. Would you all like to see a Sonic Heroes sequel as we are about to, like I said, go into um, Grand Metropolis Zone, one of my favorite stages from Sonic Heroes. And I'm actually going to talk about uh, last episode's question of the day in just a second. But anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. And oh my god, I almost flung my controller. <laughs> I almost flung it like a boomerang. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. So, wait. Do you all see this right here? Okay, so... We're actually seeing doubles right now. On the Sunday, riding my bike. I know this, I know this. Many, many things that look alike. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. And since this is Mod Madness, we can do this on a Sunday. And everybody knows Niggle stole my bike. But anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're going to Grand Metropolis Zone Act 2, so let's do this. But, <laughs> oh my god, yo, I forgot, we're playing this with- Yo, look at this, this is insane! Okay, so we are playing through Grand- Bro, we are playing through Grand Metropolis Zone with yours truly, your boy Niggles, and look at how beautiful this is. So apparently um, in version 1.3 or whatever, I think the GIA and different lighting effects were updated. So it's really cool to see how beautiful this stage looks because when I saw the original preview, um, it did not look like this at all. So right here, it looks like we've kind of got like a simplified version of Grand Metropolis Zone because um, since we are playing with the generation style of gameplay, you know, it's definitely been watered down considering that there isn't combat or anything like that in this game, but dude, Knuckles animations in this look amazing. And then even when he runs, look at this, yo, this gives me, um, this reminds me of the times when I'd play, uh, I would just run through Meteor Herd all the time in Sonic Adventure 2. In fact, I'm going to actually, well, let me think. I'm trying to think, because I want to like, I want to blaze through this as fast as possible, but then at the same time, I kind of want to explore, so I think what we'll do is we'll do like two runs or something like that. Oh my god, wait! Knuckles, what are you doing? <laughs> Yo, I don't know what the hell happened right there. That was insane, but okay, so yeah, we're just going to run through this like one regular playthrough or whatever. Yo. Even when he does the, uh, okay, so when he actually does a light speed dash, he goes into like a gliding animation. That's so cool. Okay. Dude, seriously, Ultimate Darkman did a fantastic job with this mod. Because I remember when it was in production for so long, and I think it was supposed to come to Sonic Lost World. I don't know for a fact, but I feel like it was supposed to go to... Um, it was supposed to be a mod for Sonic Lost World, but, you know, Lost World having all the glitches that it has with, um certain animations and whatnot that was not possible oh okay all right so because we don't have the uh the uh walls that make you like go upwards like in sonic heroes uh we just gonna have to do wall jumps right there so that's pretty cool all right whoa <laughs> dude this is so fun though and it just kind of reminds me of all the times too when i did yo that camera angle oh my god um it reminds me of all the times when I actually did play uh, Sonic Heroes when I was younger because I used to play this all the time with my dad. And uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you were like, wait, you actually had a dad? Kobe, wait a sec. <laughs> but yeah, I actually did. I played it a lot with him when I was younger. And um, we would do the multiplayer a lot. Um, we would do the multiplayer of this along with uh, Sonic Adventure 2. And then also uh, Sonic the Fighters, because I just always loved stuffing bombs into people's mouths with Bean. <laughs> or doing like the doing the dizzy punch in Sonic the Fighters. That was always like one of my favorite things to do. But um Okay, so this is oh my god, the scope of this stage is amazing. Even though it is, like I said, a watered down version of Grand Metropolis Zone, because we are having to play this in a generation style format. Um, just the fact that it looks so beautiful and it's so grand, and I love when Knuckles does his, uh, when it, when Knuckles does his stump there, because it looks so cool. 
Um, seriously though, this is just so well done. Black and Angel did a fantastic job. Oh! Oh, I was trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to hit the bullseye right there. I don't know if y'all saw that, but that was definitely a, huh? Wait, what is going on? <laughs> All right, and see there, I was like barely off the target. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so used to automated everything. I'm so used to automated everything that this is like really, really weird. Okay, 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 okay. I'm so used to automated in Sonic games, man. <laughs> they... Bro, <laughs> what the heck is going on, man? Why is this so grand? Holy niggles. <laughs> Yo! The orgasms are real in this video right now. Look at... Dude, I'm playing through this again. I don't care. I'm playing through this again. I have to explore and see what this- No, wait, wait, that totally came out wrong! Boy, you know you wanted to restart. <laughs> Dang it, I was trying to do a stump. I don't know why I accidentally hit the wrong button there. That was really stupid. My finger was uh, kind of slipping, I guess. But, uh, oh my god, this water road. Dude, I want to see a Sonic Heroes 2. I want to see a Sonic Heroes 2 so badly. <laughs> like, after seeing this. Because, like, that's the thing. When you think about it, so many people are like, what direction should Sonic go in? And I feel like there's so many directions that Sonic can go in because he's gone on so many different pathways that there really isn't a wrong or right direction. It's like Sonic just has so much diversity. And... That's why the fan base is so diverse. That's why it's so hard to actually please a fan base because, you know, they introduced so many different gameplay styles that were so much fun. Like, you know, Sonic Heroes. Then there was Sonic Adventure 2. Then Sonic Adventure. And then even the classic games. There's so many different routes that Sega has gone with the series that I could see myself winning a sequel for basically any game. And there we go. That is it for Grand Metropolis Zone. Oh my god, that was gorgeous. Holy crap, man. Yo. I died multiple times there, but that was just... That was too gorgeous. I can't wait to render that with, like, motion blur and do that 4K60. Like, yo. And seriously, let me know if you guys do like the 4K60 frames. Because it takes... It basically takes like 12 hours to render the videos so that kind of like cuts out like my chance to like record other videos and all that stuff because it's using all my computer resources so uh, yeah that's why I'm always like yo if you do enjoy these videos drop a like and let me know if you like the uh, quality and whatnot because I try to go all out I try to go all out for you guys okay so sadly we cannot turn super which is quite a shame because I was really looking forward to seeing uh, pink niggles you know, I'm, I'm starting to like pink a lot. I don't know if y'all noticed in the last few videos, but I think pink looks actually really good on me. So, you know, pink is just that tough guy look. <laughs> like my boy Niggles. <laughs> All right. But um, anyways, so let's go ahead and talk about last episode's question of the day because I asked you all, um, what was your favorite uh, DS game? What was your favorite DS game in the, like, what was your favorite Sonic game on the Nintendo DS? I'm getting like all twisted right now. And I got a lot of people saying Sonic Rush Adventure, a lot of people saying, you know, Sonic Rush as well because we were playing Sonic Rush and everybody loves the soundtrack for Sonic Rush. But, um, I can't handle these, <laughs> I can't handle these camera angles, they're just too, too jaw-dropping for real. And especially since, like, we don't have, um, the heads-up display or whatever, it just makes this look more cinematic. But I saw a lot of people also saying that they liked Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood. That really made me happy to see because, you know, that was like, like I said, um, like my first RPG. And um, I just really enjoyed it. Like, I remember when I did trade in so many games just so that I could be able to afford it. Because I think that was a time when, um, I think that was one of the DS games that was actually $35. Like, a lot of DS games were around, like, um, $30. But I think that was one of the few that came out $35. So that was kind of annoying having to save up the extra $5 for that. But once I got it, I started going insane because, like I said, that was the time when the Sonic comics were really huge. They were just about to release, um, I believe, uh, oh my god, okay. Whoa, that was close. 
they were just about to release, um, I believe, issue 200, which is why I'm really hoping that uh, issue 300 will come out for the Sonic Archie comics, even though I haven't been following them as much as I should. Um, I really do hope that it does continue onward. But, uh, yeah, so, it, like I said, it felt like Sonic Chronicles really complemented, uh, you know, my love for the comics. And then also, uh, what else? Oh yeah, just the fact that they let you play other characters and all that stuff, like Big and everything, and introducing Shade the Echidna, definitely one of my favorite um, female characters in the Sonic series. And it's quite a shame that we probably won't ever see her again because of Mr. Pinders himself with the, uh, you know, the Lee and Dot Chronicles and everything. That's actually what made a lot of the comics have to be rewritten. Like, history in the Sonic series had to be rewritten in the comics because they had to get rid of characters like, I believe, Jeffrey St. John and all that stuff. Which is another reason why um, those characters were actually, I think, killed off, too. I think they were like... I, I can't recall exactly because it's been a while since I've read the comics. I haven't really had the time. But, um... Yeah. So, that's one reason why I really loved Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood. Also, just the, uh... The Elite Beat Agents kind of gameplay with the touchscreen and everything. That was, like, so much fun to me. I don't know why. Like, the... How it was just rhythm-based and everything. It was really, really cool. And... <clears throat> what else was there? There was something else I really, really liked about that game. Oh. Yeah, just, like, how it was all touchscreen controlled, too. Because, uh... I don't know. I, I really liked the touchscreen mechanic for, like, a lot of games. Um, on the DS. So it was really cool to see that that was like a Sonic game that completely utilized the touchscreen and um, did it in really fun ways, in my opinion. But I remember one time, so this is going to be really funny, this is this is where we're going into the dark side of Koban Armani. <laughs> so when I was younger, right? Oh my god, wait. Okay, that really tripped me out for a second. Um, Okay, so when I was younger, right, this was like when I was around like maybe 12, 13, something like that, you know, I was kind of like exploring myself. <laughs> and I remember one time um, I was using that nice and clean Nintendo DS browser and uh, I was doing it like in a nice steamy shower. And let's just say, you know, I shouldn't have been doing that <laughs> because the um, the repercussions of looking up certain websites caused me to, uh, yeah, I, I had it when I was in the shower. And while I, I wasn't holding my DS in the shower, but um, man, oh man, what happened was the steam in the shower got underneath the screen. I totally died right there. But the steam got underneath the screen. So because of that, I could not use the touch screen anymore. So when I played Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, I somehow bootlegged my way. Like, this was my, I think, my second time playing through the game. Because I played through it one time, and then I played through it again with, you know, all the, like, moves unlocked and everything. And then you have all the, like, strong chow and whatnot. But um, on my second or third run, that was when I got um, my touchscreen, like, just messed up from me looking stuff up <laughs> and then I could not do the touchscreen controls for Sonic Chronicles so like I was saying I bootlegged my way through that game somehow I don't even know how because I remember being oh no wait a sec I died and I had no rings I'm getting so preoccupied by this story Boy, you know you wanted to restart! So yeah, that happened, and um, I remember one time I was like fighting one of the Amuro looking characters, it was like blue or something, and it was one of the most frightening things ever because I could not do the moves to actually avoid the attacks, so I was just taking hits like 50 cent bro. <laughs> it was terrible, it was terrible and it was very scary, but uh, you know. We did manage to pull through, even with the broken touch screen. So weird, but it's just funny because I feel like there's so many stories where people, when they were younger, were doing stuff on Nintendo DS and PlayStation Portable browsers. <laughs> and then that actually backfired on me because when I did it while I was just like preparing a nice shower. <laughs> Steam got under the touchscreen, and I can never play the game right again. <laughs> and I remember too, it was really awkward when I called Nintendo about it. 
because I didn't want to lie, but at the same time I was like, I can't be telling them this happened. <laughs> so, so I think I, I think what I said was something like. I was in the kitchen or whatever, and there was like so much steam, and then apparently the steam went under, like it seeped under the screen, and I couldn't play anymore. So then they were like, okay, well, since that happened, we'll charge you $50 instead of charging you $100 to repair it. I didn't even have that, so I was just like, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna have to bootleg my way through games. <laughs> Yo, but good times, man, good times. It's so funny thinking about that. And it was really fun playing through Grand Metropolis Zone here. This was so much fun. Such a great stage mod, so many different alternate pathways, and like I was saying, it was watered down a little bit because, you know, we don't have combat. But they made up for it with just how cinematic it was with the presentation, the camera angles, and then also even, like I said, alternate pathways and just, you know, I, I don't know. It felt like I could explore around there, but I didn't really want to. I just kind of wanted to blaze through it just because I was getting such a kick from the visual pleasure from it all. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that wraps it up for this video, so thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, as always, like I said, make sure to leave that like and a comment down below. Let me know if you all would like to see a Sonic Heroes sequel, and uh, we'll, I guess, talk about more questions of the day in future episodes, and I'll try and uh, prep some up, because today, I'm actually gonna try and record, like, a lot of videos ahead of time, so if my commentary, like, sometimes when I record ahead of time, people will think, like, um, what is it? I'm just uploading like regularly or whatever, but like I'll mass record one day So if someone answers a question in one of the videos from that mass recording The next few videos will have me still not knowing that answer and I'll keep saying like whatever it is I don't understand or whatever. I think that happened a couple of times in Mario Kart 8, but uh Anyways, yeah today is a mass recording day and I'm about to go in on that right now But uh anyways, thanks again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Republic of Kobanermites, and take care.